Today, we're gonna to learn about how, how to use our Haas CNC machine. But before we get started with our machine, let's go over and do the software part. Please open up Autodesk Fusion 360. I am going to assume that you somewhat know how to move around Fusion 360. So I'm just gonna open up our file. So this is what you should have in Fusion 360. If not, simple enough to make it. There's tutorials on how to do that. Now this is the part where we get into CNC stuff. We're gonna go into our manufacturer tab. So the first thing you wanna do when you hit the manufacturer tab is go to setup, which is in the upper left hand corner to the right of the manufacturer. Go into your machine and then under Fusion 360 library, go to, go to Haas and then click on the Haas desktop mill and then add that. Now to add machines, you have to save your file. So just be aware of that. So select the Haas desktop mill. Now this is important, select your stock point. You're gonna need to remember this for later. I usually just pick the upper left hand corner right here. And I'm gonna, just gonna click our model. And just so it knows what we're making, I'll select your models and click OK. Now this should get you this area where it has a model of the CNC machine. And this tells you that we are ready to go. So now let's zoom in and let's do our first pocket, 2D pocket. Then we're just going to select all of these letters right here. Now if you get this arrow, see if you can redo it and not get that arrow. Now that we have all of our letters selected, we are gonna go over here and to our tool. Now everything will unhighlight, that is okay. We're gonna select our tool. Now, you're gonna, on the box of the tool should be a number and a couple letters. Now come up to here and search it, but I already have it set up for me right here. and that will add our tool. Uh, for plastic, uh, I like to stick around 12,000 RPM. Nothing lower than 10,000 though. And set our coolant to disabled. And then that's pretty good for this. And then we'll click OK. And then as you can see, it will do a tool path. Now, click the simulate button. And then along this green bar at the bottom, make sure there are no red lines appear. Now, if there is a red line, that means that some there's an error and that it won't run properly in a CNC machine. So you're gonna have to resolve those errors. But for me, there's nothing. So we can move on to the next step, which is making a contour pocket, not a contour, a 2D contour uh, path. So we're just gonna flip down to the bottom and click this bottom line right here. We're gonna click that. So then we're gonna head back up, select our tool, and it will already pre-populate the tool that you used before. And then for these circles, we like to do uh, multiple depths. So set this, set it for how you want it. And then come back over here and then we can do tabs. And honestly, the, the pre-tabs are pretty good. They're pretty well made. So we'll just set it like that and then we'll click OK. And then I'll set a tool path and again, simulate it to make sure that nothing is, I don't know, not working. And as you see, no red lines. So we are A-OK. -okay. Now it's time for post-processing. So you'll have on this left side two two things you'll have your 2d pocket and your 2d contour so let's do our 2d pocket first and then we're gonna go down to actions and click post process now in this name slash number tab it has to be a number keep it at four digits so i'll do 1006 and name it mother's day letters and then we can just place this anywhere you want, uh, preferably on the USB drive so you can easily just plug and play. And then once you're ready to um, export it, click post. 
And now you're gonna wanna do the same thing for your 2D contour that is around the same steps. So yeah, that is everything you have to do in Fusion 360. Obviously, there might be some other things you might wanna do in there, but for basics, that's it. Now that we have our software done, let's start up the machine. So come over here and press the power on button. Now while the machine's starting up, we'll get our vise ready. You're gonna need two pieces of plastic, even though we're only carving one. So we're gonna stack them so they're even like this. We're gonna place them in the vise. Now make sure that they're all even and on top of each other. Now take this like screwdriver, not really a screwdriver, but that's this hollow tip. And then you screw it. Make sure that there's like no room for it to wiggle. And there we go. Now the machine, it does take a while to start up, so. Okay, now that the machine is started up, there will be a list of instructions on the screen. So, we're gonna cycle the door, so we wanna close this door. Make sure the emergency stop is Hold not out. active, but you'll see if it's checkmarked, it's good to go. So now we're just gonna press the power on button. We're gonna press the handle jog button right here. Now, and now we're gonna go over to our work tab up on the top. And now we're gonna select a speed. So at first we're gonna go fast so we can get over there really quickly. Now our objective is, get, is to get to our stock point, which in this case is the lower left-hand corner. So, come back over here. Now we're gonna select our axis. So first we're gonna go wanna go down on the Y axis. So we'll click right here, which is our Y axis button. And then using the handle jog handle, it will, it will move the machine down. And then we're gonna change to the X axis. And then we're gonna move to our Z axis. So now be very careful that once you're getting down into your Z, is that once you get about this close, you're gonna to wanna to switch to a lower speed, which is these buttons around here. So this being the lowest, and this being the highest speed that the machine is capable of. So first let's finish leveling out our X and Y's though. And now lower the speed a bit more. So you get like a more exact zeroing of the machine. And now you may come into a problem where the X axis it's not able to reach the far left. And if that is the case, you're gonna wanna untighten the vise and redo it, but put your plates a bit more to the right. But in this case, we're fine. So now in the end, we're gonna go and use our Z axis and just go down onto the plate. Now, what is it? You're gonna to wanna to need a piece of paper and the step to put under. And to see if the piece of paper can get under the tip, and if it can't, then it still needs to be lowered. So yeah, at this point we're good, so we are fully zeroed. So come back over here and I'll show you our next step. Now we're gonna to wanna to highlight G54 on the spreadsheet. We're gonna hit G54, and then we're gonna hit this button down here. Hit it three times. Now this will populate our X, Y, and Z axis with the coordinates that the CNC machine is at at this moment. So now it's the time where we can run our program. So we're gonna hit the list program button right here. We're gonna go over to USB. Now at this moment, you should plug in your USB right here. And now we're gonna select Mother's Day text in this case, you're gonna wanna run the text first, and this is so that it can get the carving out of the way and it's more stable. We're gonna hit the load button on the touch screen. Go over here, select our code, and then click the cycle start. But before we click cycle start, 
Make sure the door is closed or else it will not run. And boom, it will start to run. Okay, and now that we've finished the letters, let's start the circle. So we're gonna go to our list program button, click circle and run it. So again, we click load, click it, and then click cycle start. Now that we've finished our circle program, we are left with this. And now we need to clean it up. So that you know what that means. It's time to use the vacuum. And now we can take our awesome screwdriver, again, insert it, untighten it. And now we have this. And now you're gonna undo the tabs over a trash can. And then you can clean up this with like brushes and stuff. But that's it. Thank you for watching this awesome tutorial on how to use the hot CNC machine. Goodbye.